Hi. Last time you explored the paths panel and made a custom shape from a path. If you'd like to see that lesson, there's a link in the description for this movie. A quick review. To make a custom shape, you just select the path, and then go to Edit, Define Custom Shape. Give it a name, tap the Enter key, and it'll be there at the bottom of your shape panel. If you spent any time on it, though, you'll probably want to make sure you don't lose it. Everything you do in any of the presets panels is only temporary till Photoshop is closed. That's when things are permanently saved. So if it crashes, you'll lose whatever it was. The paths will be saved in the document you made them in, of course, but that's clumsy. There are more elegant ways to save custom shapes and trade them with others. The key is the Preset Manager. You can get there from several places. There's a Preset button at the top left-hand corner of your Options bar up here. And if you click that and go to the menu, you can open the Preset Manager. You can also get there from any place where presets are used in Photoshop, and that's just about everywhere. So let's go to the Shape panel, and let's choose it from the menu that's attached to the Shape panel. When you choose it from there, of course, you will automatically go to the Custom Shape preset type because you're already working with custom shapes. Um, if you chose it from someplace else, you'll have to choose Custom Shapes from the menu up here, but that's very easy to do. Okay, once you're in here, you'll see all of your custom shapes. How you see them depends on how you've chosen to see them. You can look at them as just text, or you can look at them as small or large thumbnails, or you can use one of the list views. Let's use large list. The advantage of this is that if you've given them meaningful names, like test 1 and test 2 and so on, for things that you're just working on and not sure you really want, then you'll be able to see which ones are which very easily from inside of this menu. You can rename them from here by selecting them and clicking on the Rename button which opens the Shape Name dialog box. If you happen to be looking at them in a form that lets you see the names, you can also just double-click on the name and name them from there. You can select multiple shapes as well. For instance, if I hold on the Shift key, I can select all of these stop signs that were just tests that I don't want anymore, and then I just click the Delete button, and they'll all go away. Let's move back to looking at them as small thumbnails. Another thing you can do here in the Presets Manager is to reorder your presets. So for instance, if I decided that really these three, and I'm going to hold down the Shift key to select all three of them, and the envelope up here, and I can hold down Command or Control on a PC to select discontiguous shapes, really belong over here next to the arrows. I just drag them over, let go, and they're all moved just like that. And the other thing that you can do in here is save the shapes, which is what we're doing in here to begin with. So let's click on the stop sign, and then I'm going to hold down the Command key and get these two roses, and I'm going to save the set. Now, where you save them makes a difference. By default, they'll be saved in a Custom Shapes folder that's inside one of your user folders. Um, where exactly it is depends on what version of Photoshop you're using and what your platform is. I'm using CS5, so mine is in my user folder, Library Application Support, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop CS5, Presets, and Custom Shapes. It's a little complex to um, tell you where yours will be, but this is where mine is. Now if you save them here, and I'm just going to call this Stop Test, then they'll be at the bottom of the menu when you close and reopen Photoshop. Let's click Done here. Right now, if I go to the menu, the preset menu, there's nothing there because I haven't closed and reopened Photoshop. Remember, it doesn't actually save till I close. So let's do that right now. Quit Photoshop. And now I've reopened. And there is Stop Test at the bottom of the menu. Now you don't have to save them to the default folder, you can save them anywhere. If you're going to give them to someone else or archive them, it might be more convenient to save them someplace else on your disk, so just navigate to that spot. If you want to save them so all the users on your machine have access to them, then you can save them in the Custom Shapes folder and the Presets folder in your Photoshop application. If you do that, then they'll show up in the main list, just like the sets that come with the application. I'm not going to take the time to do that, but you can see that I've done that before. These three here with my initials on them are ones that I saved in the application folder. So you've got them, and they're in a set, and how do you get them back out? Well, there are several ways to do it. One of the ways you can do it is to just choose the name from the menu. So I'm going to choose Stop Test from the bottom of the menu, and when I do, I get this little dialog that asks me if I would like to replace the current shapes with the shapes from Stop Test. If I click OK, then all the shapes that I currently have in my shape panel will vanish, and only those shapes which were in that set will be there. I'd rather not do that, just have them at the end, so I'm going to click the Append button 
and there are the three shapes that we saved. Now in this case it's kind of silly because I already had them, but there they are again. You can also load shapes from other places on your hard drive. For instance, I have some shapes that I have in a folder, and I'm going to click Load Shapes, and then I'm going to go to my desktop, to the Custom Shapes folder that I made, click OK, and I have some Recycle Shapes there. When I click Open, they show up at the bottom of the panel just like that. You can also save shapes from this menu. When you do that, you're going to be saving all of the shapes that you have in your shape panel. You can't save individual ones, just all of them or nothing at all. If you click Save Shapes, then you'll save them in the last folder that you opened. Um, I'd rather save them in the default folder that we had because that folder is the one that will put them at the bottom of the menu. So since I'm using default folder X, I can just choose that from here and that puts them back in the menu and I'm going to call this current. I found that it really is helpful to save a current set because then whenever you're playing with your shapes you can always go back to what you had the last time you saved current and every time that you save that it'll overwrite what you had so uh, as long as you're not saving shapes you're just saying okay this is what I've got in here right now then it'll always be there in your menu so I'm going to click save. Now of course it's not there now because I haven't closed and reopened Photoshop but the next time I do it will be there. You can also reset the shapes from here. If you choose Reset, then you get the dialog that asks if you want to append the default set to the bottom of whatever you have, or if you'd like to just replace all of them. This time we're going to replace all of them, and when we do, we wind up with the shapes that we started with when we first opened Photoshop. It's not very many, so let's go back to what we had before by going to Replace Shapes. And that time you don't get the menu, you just get to replace it. So we're going back up to Current, the one we just saved, click open, and now I have all of my shapes back the way that I had them a minute ago. You can also delete and rename shapes from this menu, but you have to do it one at a time. For instance, I could select one of the extra roses, and I could click delete shape, and it goes away. But I have to do it one at a time, so unless you're just blowing away a single shape or renaming a single shape, it's really easier to open the preset manager. And that's how you manage custom shapes once you've made them. Next time, we'll finally see how you can actually work with them in Photoshop. Until then, this has been Robin Wood, and I hope you found this helpful.